Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Teen Wolf. So let's talk about this episode. Uh, so here we get to meet a new kind of villain of the week with the Dread Doctor's uh, new minion, I would, I guess we'll say, uh, named Lucas, and he is being totally controlled by the D Dread Doctors like everyone else. He has these spike type of things on his arms, and he's trying to lure Lucas in this episode. And then, of course, our, our pack is trying to learn more about the Dread Doctors and about their minions and exactly how they're created and still human and not part of the supernatural. So it's mixing science with the supernatural, and that's not natural. Uh, other characters, we get to see bit more of their stories. Uh, of course, Lydia, she got stabbed last episode, so she wants to learn to fight. That's been pretty much shown uh, in the previews already. Uh, Styles and Malia, they're, they're trying to figure out a bit more with Scott, what's going on with the Dread Doctors. Uh, and also, of course, Scott has to be very awkward and tell Kira that, uh, that he loves her right in the middle of a battle. And Kira actually goes all ninja and not being able to control her fox form and almost kills Lucas. So you're seeing a bit of a darker side with Kira and then a bit, a bit of a darker side with Theo because he might be evil and working with the Dread Doctors. Uh, lastly, uh, we have Parrish who uh, is, you know, probably a phoenix and really doesn't know it. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He grabs dead bodies and puts them in on that tree dome thing that we've seen a couple of seasons ago and we don't know what's going on with these bodies. Of course Phoenix means uh, death and then life so is he reviving these people? What's going on with that? Uh, so what did I think about this episode? I thought this was a pretty good episode. Uh, it was a bit villain of the week. Uh, you know Lucas was the villain, they tried to defeat him, but there's still a lot of um, parts and motions. Very much a point A to point B episode, but still obviously giving us a lot of information where I feel like Team Wolf is great with that. Even though it could be a Villain of the Week episode, it's not obvious. Uh, there's still a lot going on throughout the episode with our characters, um, and especially learning a bit more about the Dread Doctors. Uh, you know, learning that they're scientists and mixing, again, supernatural with regular people. So we still learn a lot about these characters and our villains, which is very important. Uh, and I guess we're seeing a little bit more of the darker side of our, of our pack, like I said with Kira. I think that was really interesting. Is it because she has these powers and that she's more powerful that she's doing this and that she can't control it? Uh, I think that'll be an interesting notion and probably the reason why in those other trailers why Scott's so fearful of uh, Kira kind of going to the dark side and really our whole pack going to the dark side. Uh, so also I want to talk about Lydia of course this episode. Uh, you know her wanting to know how to fight. Uh, of course I really like um, her connection with Parrish. I think that's really cool. Uh, but I really want to see a bit more with her and her mom. You know her mom just seen this open world. And I think Team Wolf did such a good job with uh, sher the sheriff learning about the supernatural world, Scott's mom learning about it, and Scott's mom being awesome in this episode too. Uh, I would really like to see Lydia's mom kind of learn more about the supernatural world as the season goes on, but she kind of pushes it away in this episode where she's just like, ah, oh, she was just crazy. But Lydia's like, hey, just don't tell anybody. Uh, so even though Lydia's in, you know, pain and just got stabbed, she's like, hey, mom, don't tell anybody. Uh, so I hope we get more of that conversation because, you know, I always like seeing the, the person that didn't know about the world know about the world, especially since her daughter is also a supernatural creature. Uh, so I hope we get to see that fleshed out. Obviously, there wasn't a lot of time in this episode, but as episodes go on, I want them to have that discussion. Uh, so that's, some, I guess, not a negative, but something I, I hope they develop um, in in this season. I think it is important. Uh, but it'll be very fun to see Lydia uh, start fighting. Um, I'm excited about that. You know, something we knew was going to happen because of the premiere, uh, but just excited to see it develop. Uh, so yeah, overall, pretty good episode. I wouldn't say this was the best one. I actually thought this was a little bit of a weaker episode for this season, uh, but that's because this season has been so good and up to par. This is still a very good episode. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode. Uh, this is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links for my comic book, like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. And of course, uh, next week I will have another Team Wolf review. So uh, I'll be reviewing all the Team Wolf episodes for this season. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.